Hi guys, it's Sophia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I'm back today to share a quick little tutorial on how I created these little crochet pumpkin embellishments. I was inspired by a post that I saw on Instagram and it did not have a pattern so I was just kind of playing around with it and I came up with something that I like the shape and I think it's pretty close to what I saw so um, I did get a couple requests to do a tutorial so I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and first of all you will need um, yarn if you have that on hand that's what I used on this white one here it is going to be a two-part tutorial because I did find that I had to change up the stitches whether I was using the um, thicker yarn or the cotton thread for these so um, I'll share both um, what I did on both of those so like I said yarn or I use this um, cotton thread and I picked this up at Daiso a couple years ago so I don't know what size it is I think it's pretty close to a size 10 uh, crochet thread but it is thicker so I kind of like that this one's a little bit thicker so um, yeah and then this one's really pretty it's a, a real soft pink and it has little flecks of like silver throughout the throughout the yarn so really nice so I love the color on that one and then you'll also need some crochet hooks for the cotton thread ones I use this crochet hook which is a 2.5 size I don't know if that's correct here but that's what it says on the hook and then for the yarn I use this one here which is a size F you can see that one size F there and then um, for the stems, the ones that I saw, they also had the tiniest little crocheted stem, um, but I knew I didn't really want to mess with trying to um, do that for all these little pumpkins, so um, I just used pieces of a um, flower pick that I had in my stash, this one here actually, and this is wired, and I like the way it's like textured, so um, I just used pieces of the wire, and then also just pieces of the stem in different places if it was thick enough, and for the white one here, I used um, just a little piece of a stick that I went out to my yard, and I picked up a couple of sticks, so that's an option. You can also probably use toothpicks or skewers or something else. Um, or you can try to crochet the little stem, but um, I thought that looked cute, so that's what I did. And then to give it um, this little shape here and this one that's curled up, I just took uh, one of the wire parts of the stem and um, I wrapped it around the end of the crochet hook, just like that. And then um, I just slipped it off, cut it, and then just attached all the stems with some a little tiny bit of, of hot glue so I'll go ahead and get started um, I said I was going to start with the pink one so that's what I'll do so basically you just need your thread your cotton thread your crochet hook and then you're going to start doing um, a magic circle which I've shared in a previous uh, video a while back but you basically just do kind of like a knot shape and then pull your um, your crochet thread through and then you're going to do a chain stitch right there and then you're going to do a yarn over and you're going to do nine uh, half double crochets in the center of that loop here so that was one and a half double crochet you just yarn over go through the center loop pull your yarn through and then you're going to have three little um, loops on your hook and you're just going to pull yarn over and pull your thread through all three so that's a half double crochet so I've done two you're going to do nine total so this is number three number four five six seven eight and nine so once you have your nine half double crochets here, I just like to take the end of that magic uh, circle there and just pull it to close that, that center loop there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to join this to the beginning um, stitch here. So you just work your crochet hook into um, the, the little loop there. So you'll have two little um, 
two little pieces on your on your hook so one whole stitch you're going to pull your yarn through and then just slip stitch to close that so there's the first round and these pumpkins only take two rounds so they're super quick and easy so you've got that little shape there and then um, for the next round you're just going to chain one and then yarn over and you're going to do a double crochet in that same spot the same uh, stitch that we did our slip stitch in so um, you again you have three little loops on your uh, hook here and you're going to yarn over pull through two and you're going to end up with two more yarn over and pull through two so that's your first um, double crochet so we're going to repeat that and do two double crochets um, in the next three stitches so that was one for a total of seven double crochets so here is the second one and in that same stitch we're going to do another one and I hope I'm in frame yesterday I tried to do this and I was out of frame in like half of it so I just deleted it so that is two in that stitch and we've got uh, we will move over to the next stitch and do two more double crochets in that one. So there's two double cro crochets in that one. Move over to the next stitch and do two more double crochets there. I hope you can see this. I think it'll be a little bit better to see once I use the yarn. So um, at this point we have um, a chain stitch and seven um, double crochets there. And then we're just going to move over to the next uh, stitch here and we are going to do a slip stitch. So just pull the yarn through and do a slip stitch there. And then we are going to just yarn over and go over to the next stitch and do two double crochets which we're basically just doing the reverse of what we just did on this side. So we need to do uh, two double crochets in this stitch. So that was one. Here is the second one. And then we're gonna move over to the next stitch and again do two double crochets there. So there's one and two. And then we'll move over to the next stitch and do two more double crochets. There's one double crochet and here is another double crochet. Okay, and then um, that's a total of six, so we need one more. Yes, we need one more in the next stitch. One more double crochet and then we need to chain one and in that same uh, stitch we're going to just uh, do a slip stitch and we're done so we did one slip stitch there we're going to do another slip stitch just yarn over pull it through and this is where I just cut the string and do a finishing knot there so there is um, our little pumpkin shape how cute is that and super quick right so that's with the cotton thread and I'm going to go ahead and share um, what I did for this um, yarn one and as you can see it makes a big difference uh, which uh, yarn or thread you use because um, these are just smaller and um, these are quite a bit bigger. So um, I'll do this one next. So there's that. And then, um, so this time we're going to use yarn and the size F hook and it starts off pretty much the same. You're going to do a magic circle, which is kind of a knot, pull the yarn through and do a chain stitch. So chain one. And then we're going to do um, nine single crochets instead of nine half double crochets. So single crochet, you, you don't yarn over. You just put your hook through the center, pull your yarn through. You have two loops, yarn over and pull your yarn through the two loops. That is one uh, single crochet. So again, we put the hook through the center, pull the yarn through. We have two little loops on the hook, yarn over and pull the yarn through. 
So that was the second um, single crochet. And this will be number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so we've got nine um, single crochets there. So we're gonna do the same uh, and close that loop. So we just take the tail end of the magic circle and pull and closes that up. And then we're gonna join um, this to the beginning stitch here. So we're gonna work our hook in there, pull the yarn through and do a slip stitch. And now we have our little circle there and I like to go back and just pull on this end again because you can see it still has a hole and I like it to be I don't know as small as possible so that closed it up there okay so for the next um, round we're going to do the same thing chain one um, but instead of doing the double crochet on this one, we're going to do a half double crochet. So yarn over, and in that same little space that we did our slip stitch, you're going to pull the yarn through. So you have three loops on your hook, and then you're going to yarn over and pull the string through all three. So that's your first half double crochet. And then we're going to move over to the next stitch, and we're going to do two half double crochets in the next three. So there's one, oops, that was a double crochet. Sorry, my mistake. So undo it, and we're moving over um, the stitch and yarning over, putting your needle through. You've got three loops, and we're gonna pull, pull it through all three. So that's the second half double crochet, and this is the third half double crochet in that same spot. Then we're gonna move over to the second stitch here, and do two half double crochets there. That's the second one. And then we're gonna move over to the next stitch and do two more. There's one and two. So we've got a total of one chain stitch and seven half double crochets. And then we are going to just do a, um, move over to the next stitch and do a slip stitch. So pull the yarn through and then pull that through the next loop and then we're going to yarn over and move over to the next stitch down here and do two half double crochets so there's um, three little loops on our hook yarn over pull it through all three that's your first half double crochet in the same stitch we're going to do the second half double crochet and then we're going to move over to the next stitch and do two half double crochets there and then we're going to move over to the next stitch and do two more half double crochets and then in the next stitch we're going to do one half double crochet and one chain um, stitch so one half double crochet and then a chain and then in that same spot we're going to do a slip stitch and then we're going to do one more slip stitch and then we can cut our yarn and pull it through and there is the pumpkin made out of the yarn and again just go back and really pull that little center tight and you've got your yarn pumpkin so and then what I do is um, you can work your ends in um, but I just usually work this one back a little bit and then do a little knot at the bottom because I know these are going to be glued down on something. So um, that's pretty much all I do. So that's the yarn one. And I will um, put the patterns for each of these in the description box below if you want to take a look at that. And they're so quick and easy, you guys. Look, I've already made like a little bowl of cute little pumpkins and they're just waiting for little stems and decoration if you want to add a cute little spider or something so how cute are these so there's my little tutorial I hope it was helpful and um, let me know what you guys think give the video a thumbs up if you like the video and um, I'll see you in the next video guys have a good day bye